If you haven't seen or heard the news yet, one of the most amazing sporting competitions in the world is coming to NBC Sports next February. It is rugby's greatest championship. It is the Six Nations. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie and NBC's international rugby expert, Alex Corbacero, uh, with you to talk rugby, to talk specifically Six Nations. You know, since we've uh, had the Aviva Premiership here on NBC Sports, Alex, a lot of people have been asking you yes. and I, when are you guys going to get Six Nations? Well, I we're know. pleased to say that it is coming to NBC Sports. February 3rd, we'll get things going next year. You've just been in the UK for the Autumn International yeah. Series. Let's kind of pick a few of the teams. Let's start almost at the very top, the world's number two ranked team, England. How do they look? Yeah, they, they look very comfortable. You know, ranked two in the world, only behind New Zealand. Uh, won the last two Six Nations. Uh, didn't get the Grand Slam last year. Ireland, you know, gave them that defeat right at the end there. And England looked good, but probably not their best as such, but very comfortable, three from three in the autumn. If you move down, then Ireland, always a contender over the last couple of years, they looked very good, very comfortable, very controlled, very experienced, and I like what I saw from them. And then the dark horse in this competition, and the team that's probably improved the most from last year's competition to this one is Scotland. They're coming off a fabulous autumn internationals where they pushed the All Blacks to the brink, and then they went out there and they really put your your country, Australia, to the sword. And they really are a team to look out for. And that's what I love about the Six Nations. I've played in it multiple times. I've won one. And it is so competitive. And you look at all the teams shaping up there, and it's always one of those ones where any team can beat anyone on their day. So, really, there's always the opportunity for one banana slip, one shock result there. But those three teams, for me, stand out as the ones I'd be watching. France, never write them off, but didn't have the best autumn. Italy, competitive, but not quite there yet. And then Wales, just haven't shown the consistency for me. You know, they beat South Africa on this weekend. Good result for them, but across the autumn, haven't showed me that they're championship caliber winners yet, but you never know. This tournament always shapes up and teams find their stride. And it really is an interesting time because you have so much time together you're actually together for it's about seven weeks of time where internationally that's the only time other than a world cup where that really happens and that's why we get some really good rugby in the six nations you you mentioned scotland there and and eddie jones who is the england coach has come out publicly and spoken about that there's been quite a bit of hype yeah. i guess you could say you know around scotland is that hype justified i i think it is they they, they really have a good setup there their pack performed well guys like finn russell at 10 and hog at 15 really control the games really well and for me they are a team to watch out and the fighting talk is already out in the press Eddie Jones you know this, this is what's so exciting the coaches don't pull punches we get tons of headlines we get tons of news I cannot wait this is from a guy who played and won Six Nations it is worth watching and you can see it February 3 here on NBC Sports looking forward to it